Hello everyone and welcome back. So in today's video I would like to talk about what is bioinformatics and some of the career opportunities you can have as a bioinformatician. So make sure to stay until the end because I'm also going to go through some of the career options in bioinformatics and salary ranges. Before I continue, please make sure to like and subscribe to support this channel. Thank you. So let's start with the question, what is bioinformatics? So assume you already know what it is, but let's establish some common ground. I see bioinformatics similar to few fields that you are probably very familiar with. So first, I would compare bioinformatics to being similar to data science and machine learning fields. You perform similar methodologies, only differences is that you always use biological data. Additionally, you, you also develop predictive algorithms and models based on your biological data. So some of the bioinformatics examples similar to data science job is RNA-seq, where you perform statistical methods to differentiate gene expressions. So you use similar methodologies from statistics, only applied to biological data. So another example is cancer detection with machine learning and deep learning. Again, here you perform and use same uh, here you perform and use same analysis and uh, machine learning and deep learning tools only on biological data. And the third example of bioinformatics step task is protein structure prediction. So probably you heard about the alpha fold where we use deep learning uh, methods to uh, predict the structure of protein. So in all these examples, we use data science and machine learning methodologies the same methodologies that data scientists are using only on biological data. So another comparison I would say is that it's similar to software engineering or so software engineering computer science field where you develop software and algorithms and tools for biological purposes. So there are many algorithms that you are probably familiar with as bioinformatician that use software engineering best practices to be developed and deployed in production. So for example, a BLAST, an algorithm for comparing primary biological sequences, and Needleman-Wunsch algorithm for calculating the similarity of two biological sequences for global alignment, and Smith-Waterman algorithm for local alignment. Of course, all these examples require to get some domain knowledge or at least have the basic understanding of biology. Of course, there are also many more fields that bioinformatics can be compared to, but let's limit it only to, do, to, to these two because different people also have different opinions about what is considered as bioinformatics. Now that I kind of gave you my understanding on what bioinformatics is and my definition, let's move now to what is bioinformatics based on the definition from web. So it says that bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary field that develops methods and software tools for understanding biological data. As an interdisciplinary field of science, bioinformatics combines biology, computer science, mathematics, and statistics to analyze and interpret biolo biological data. So this definition is pretty similar to how I'm defining bioinformatics, just in a bit simpler, just mine was a bit simpler terms. Let me know in the comments down below this video about what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about bioinformatics and how you define it. I'm really interested to know how also other people define bioinformatics and see other people's point of view. So now that we established some common ground and understand what bioinformatics is, let's move to talking about the significance of bioinformatics and why is it worth to learn bioinformatics. So with the help of bioinformatics tools, we can process and analyze large sets of biological data, which allows us for better understanding of plant, animal, and human genetics. For example, we can now identify desirable properties of plants, which can lead to new discoveries for developing environmentally sustainable solutions for food and energy productions. Also, we can further understand the genetic basis of human diseases by using computational methods. We can see that bioinformatics is a growing field with much more rooms to improvement and possibilities for advancement. And by utilizing and creating new bioinformatics tools and methods, we can analyze big amounts of data to do good in the world and make a world a better place. So from personal point of view, this is why I'm interested in bioinformatics because you can do something meaningful and something good. 
so you, your work has an impact on other people and this is what can and this is what can give you motivation and this push to do your job even better so let me know in the comments below what is your motivation behind learning bioinformatics so now that i get you interested in bioinformatics let's move to what education is needed to become a bioinformatician so basically to start a career in bioinformatics you need to have some kind of agree so for most jobs bachelor and master studies are enough but for some research positions you will need to have phd but the good thing is that you don't need to have bioinformatics degree per se so how i see it, there are two possibilities so you can study computer science and engineering and then become fluent in the life sciences part or you can study biosciences and then pick up programming skills by yourself. So you can either combine these two at the university or you can do the self-learning with one of the options. So for example, for me, at my university in my country, in my home country, I, couldn't uh, I didn't have this uh, opportunity to mix uh, diverse subjects. So for me, my background is Bachelor of mathema in Mathematics and masters in applied mathematics and then as a self-learning part i'm learning by biology terminology to get gain more knowledge from this area and so i can be more productive in bioinformatics area so i know that in the us you can actually do that and mix these different subjects so make sure also to check that for your country if you're interested in getting the education needed for becoming a bioinformatician but otherwise you can focus on one area so see if you're more interested in programming or more interested in life sciences and then pick up different skills uh, by self-learning now it's really easy to to learn something by yourself because there are a lot of resources and a lot of courses online so other than edu education you will also need to have some skill sets to stand in the crowd so most of the things you will uh, pick up during university but it's good to know what kind of skills is needed to become a bioinformatician to start a career as bioinformatician so you will need to have of course a standard critical thinking problem solving anal analytical and ad mathematical skills and as i said probably this is already picked up by just having uh, and going to the university so also in addition to this you will need to have the following technical skills so you will need to have statistical skills programming skills general biology knowledge database knowledge and machine learning knowledge so not everything is needed for every job but it's good to have these skills at least the basic on at least on the basic level in the later videos we are going to go through step by step on how to gain and improve these skills to become a bioinformatician but this is just in short just so you know what kind of skills are needed to become a bioinformatician and what you need to focus on also different job positions require different skills so what you will do as a bioinformatician really depends on the job description so let's now analyze some of the bioinformatics career options that are possible for you and we are going to analyze that but first analyzing the top countries for bioinformatics job so now i'm going to show you a table with top three countries for bioinformatics and this is based on h index which is an outer level metric which measures the scientific performance so we can see that top three countries for bioinformatics are united states united kingdom and germany which also means that these countries probably offer a lot of bioinformatics jobs and career options we are going to focus here only on us jobs because it's kind of hard to check uh, all of them but i will show you how to do that so you can also check for your own country or where, where, wherever you want to apply to and move to so as mentioned we are going to focus on positions and car career opportunities for us so we are going to check most frequent bioinformatics positions and salary ranges and if you would like to do the research on your own on for the country of your choice you can also follow the same steps as i show for us for this you're going to use the glass door where employees can leave comments reviews salary ranges and also interview questions for the company for the company they had experience with so in this case i'm using glassdoor.com because i'm interested in the us opportunities also because i'm not located in the us I need to use VPN where I connected to the United States uh, VPN 
so I can access glassdoor.com. So usually Glassdoor is connected to where you're currently located in. So if you would like to check for uh, your own country where you are not currently located in, you will need to use VPN and locate yourself there before processing further. So we go to glassdoor.com. I'm not interested in the Kansas City per se, but through overall uh, US, you can also uh, take a city or you can also say uh, some area, basic but I'm in this case interested in the whole United States and here you can put some keywords so in our case I'm put, gonna put bioinformatics and click search here the bioinformatics result is gonna give us the job results the salary ranges and careers and so on and so on but we are currently interested in the career opportunities and salary ranges. So here we can see the most common bioinformatics positions in the US with their salary ranges. So we are going to talk about requirements that needs to be satisfied to be able to apply for each of these positions. And we are going to skip this bioinformatics position because I think this is a general, this is really a general uh, job description and uh, it's probably covered by either one of those positions. Before we start talking about salary ranges, just to mention that this is based on employee in input, so it doesn't have to be that these salaries are correct. So these are the averages across all companies offering bioinformatics positions. I will show you later how to check salaries for a specific company, because that is also available. So there are a few bioinformatics career options possible. Bioinformatics scientist, bioinformatics analyst and bioinformatics engineer. So let's go now over each of them and just set a ba basically a requirement of, on what is needed for each of them. So bioinformatics scientists, we see that the median sal salary is the highest, so $106,000 per year with minimum of 75K and maximum of 151K. And for bioinformatics scientists, this usually requires to, for you to have at least master's de degree, preferably PhD. And these are the mostly industry research positions, which usually have also higher salary than in academy. So it requires both computer science and domain knowledge. And by domain, I mean here the area of the research that the, the job is for. The ne next career opportunity for bioinformatician is bioinformatics analyst with a median salary of 70,000 per year with minimum of 50k and maximum of almost 100k. And, and requirement for being a bioinformatics analyst is to have bachelor or masters, so PhD is usually not required, and positions in industry so those are mostly positions in industry, industry with focus on analyzing large biological data sets. So something similar to being a data scientist and require more of a, more domain knowledge and also require skills like R, Python, and Unix. And the third option for bioinform bioinformatics career is bioinformatics engineer with median salary of 96, 96K, minimum of 66, 66k and maximum of 139k and for this position requirement are usually bachelor or master and PhD, PhD is not usually required so these are mostly positions in industry with the focus of implementing production ready bioinformatics methods and algorithms so it require more CS knowledge so more computer science knowledge and less domain knowledge so these three are most popular bioinformatics job option for US market. So let me know in the comments below what is your title and what do you work on? So because I'm also interested to know what other job titles there are. So now you saw what are the, uh, how you can research about possible career opportunities for specific uh, market that you are interested on. So for specific country that you are willing to locate or work on. So let me also share a bit of uh, additional uh, tips on this glass door because there are usually a lot of useful information especially for people uh, searching for a job so basically what you can also check is 
the performance of the company itself. So let's imagine uh, here that we are going to have an interview for Illumina. So we can also search uh, we can also search the company in the Glassdoor as well. So here we have uh, an overview of this company. And now that we kind of got the interview, we can also go here and check the interview process here to prepare ourselves better and to see what other candidates experience and to see what you can expect from your interview. So you can also here basically filter based on the job you are applied to. So you can go through other candidates' uh, interview process and see how they were feeling about it, what were they asked, and how easy or hard was the interview. Additionally, you can check the salaries per company in this salaries tab. And you can again filter for the job that you are applying to and kind of see what is the expected salary. Additionally to do that, you can also check the benefits. To so you see what the ben uh, so what kind of benefits this company is offering all. So in this case, we can see that it offers insurance, some retirement plans, how many vacations you have, and what what ki kind of perks, perks and discounts you still can get. In the end, you can also check the reviewers reviews that were uh, added by the current employees or the previous employees and kind of see what is the culture. Do you see yourself as a fit to the company or is it something wrong here? And if there are some red flags. This was it for today's video. I hope you liked this video and now that you understand what bioinformatics is and what kind of career opportunities you have as a bioinformatician. Additionally, I hope you learn how to kind of research the market to get a feeling about the possible salary ranges you, you can expect from the job. So let me know in the comments down below. Still, if you have some questions, I will be more than happy to help you. See you in the next video.